Our tail of the tape now for this featherweight fight. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. All right, good to have you with us tonight as we get your early round action here featuring one Brian T-City Ortega. Might just be the poster boy for mixed martial arts evolution when it comes to the strides he has made with his striking. Came into the UFC somewhat of a specialist when it came to his Gracie Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Now in a kickboxing match, he can probably beat most of the best featherweights in the world. Oh, great block there. Big elbow there, Lance. Oh, huge connection there. He landed it. Oh, you want a ding-dong? Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh, nice takedown, yep. Ortega's got his arm under the chin, going for a guillotine now. Oh, that looks tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. Oh, that's it. I got to let go. Okay. To get some. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, tight submission attempt now with the doors. Oh, he might be in trouble. That looks locked in. He's advanced to a finishing position. Oh, he got out. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. What? How the right, so fuck did you, you do that? Defensively, there is That's cool. Around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. better than where he was before. Under two minutes here to go in round one. There it is. Now he's going to mount. I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Oh, might be able to get his leg here, and he does. Oh, he's got that submission locked in. He's in real trouble. No, you're he's done. He's going to get this. Okay, no, that didn't work. Keeps on fighting off submission after submission. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to take the back. Now going for the rear naked choke. Working hard to finish this rear naked choke. He's doing a really good job of trying to get that choke arm under the neck. Then he'll lock his hands to get that finish. Oh. Wow, he gets out and now reverses position. Beautiful submission defense by this guy. He was constantly under attack. Crackers delight tonight. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Ortega's in half guard now. Big round of Four, two, three, last three hits. Ding, ding, ding. That makes Watch a difference. Ding, 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 ding. You can't heal that. <laughs> Ready. Ready. Second round underway. Ortega's shot is blocked. All right, different round, but same approach out of the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter. I'm not sure if there is an injury, but his ground game is so strong, he hasn't made any effort to take the fight there. I don't understand. Oh! Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Lands with the lead, right? Oh, nasty cut on his lip. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown. Oh, watch guillotine here. That guillotine is tight. Ding dong, rip the guillotine, bitch. You're fucked. <laughs> That's how that fight should have went last night, because I lost fucking points off that, god damn it. That made me bad last night. That was really rude for Brian. Gotta fight to the character's strength, personally. You get that sometimes. So, Shavchenko.
Fucking Muay Thai kicks off. Go back on the proven ground here tonight. You gotta think some of these super fights are gonna materialize at this stage of her career. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. Okay, then, of course, I don't care. Perhaps a trilogy with a man. Points, that's okay. Potentially He's a trick boxer, no then I can fucking nail no 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 some big kicks, but the kicks and leg kicks early on. Yes, there is a lot out there for Valentina. Super fights are on the rise, but the Jab straight body, jab straight head, jab straight leg. Right, one of the best flyweights in the world, Alexa Grasso, has touched down. This is round one gets underway here. And unlike the early stages of Alexa Grasso's career, now she has any number of different methods in which she can attack you. She even talked in the fighter meeting this week about getting her grappling going early. So we understand the jab, the boxing proficiency. I think Grasso might wrestle and grapple here tonight. Oh, roundhouse kick. Fast pace here in the early going. Big power shot there. Volume kicks from her now. Shevchenko going for the head kick here, but she misses. Telegraph that strike. Able to check the high kick. Oh, what a straight punch by her there, DC. Damn it. Oh, she can go. Her opponent see it star. Her opponent's hurt. She has to really get after her now and try to find that kill shot that's going to finish the night. Oh! Beautiful combination. Oh, big elbow. Well, her striking has been great tonight. There it is again. Look at that. Whoa! Whoa! Holy Gets thing, okay. All right, then that uh, that didn't work the way I wanted it to, but anyway. Yeah, like I'm not, I'm relatively not good at these guys. Like as far as USC like gamers go, like I'm relatively not good. Got it. You ready? You ready? Let's do it. All right, so here's Alexa Grasso, one of the best fighters in this flyweight division. Came into the UFC primarily as a boxer, but the grappling evolution has truly been a sight to behold. And now it has gotten to a point in terms of the well-roundedness for Alexa Grasso. There is no safe area in mixed martial arts. We'll see if she mixes in the takedowns here tonight. Beautiful combination by the champion there. She blocked that punch. Oh, combination striking at its best. Another great sequence out of it. She is just throwing everything with so much confidence. Every time she throws, she believes that she is going to land. And to this point, she has done just that. And now some knees. Oh, big kick for her there. 
Shevchenko's eye was starting to swell now. Able to check the high kick. Of Django. Three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast paced opening round here. Well, oh, maybe the best shot she's thrown tonight for a bonus. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Oh. Well, another miss there. She just hasn't managed her gas tank very well here tonight. She hasn't been efficient with her strikes. And as such, when she is missing, it's very taxing. Not a good look here. Oh, and there's another combination. She's turning this into a sparring session. Oh! Back to the feet now. Gotta think she's gonna go hard in the paint and go for a finish here. I'm just not sure why she is backing off the pedal a little bit. I don't know why she isn't committing herself to finishing this fight. She has done a great job of setting up the attacks that hurt her opponent. She just not has been able to put her out completely. I want to see what she will change to ultimately in the night. Oh. Under a minute to go. How good a jump. Oh, no. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attack. Oh, my God. Okay. That's, uh, that is not going the way I wanted it. the flush knockout here tonight. career she was primarily a boxer but she always had the appetite for wrestling and grappling knowledge and her uncle Francisco Grasso has helped put the entire package together Diego Lopez deserves credit for her submission game she believes she might find a sub here tonight Grasso circling now towards the left straight punch that is useful trying the flying knee there Kick to the head. That'll rearrange some uh, some brain cells a little bit. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> That's what she's feeling right now after getting kicked in the head. Just misses with a left hook there. Man, she is just breaking her down with volume tonight as she lands another combination. I mean, over and over, she is just landing so many different attacks. It's amazing to watch someone never throw less than three. She's throwing at least three every time she enters. So just over 20 total strikes which have connected for Alexa Grasso. Oh, big elbow. Overhand is true. Well, she has come out aggressively as usual, swinging early and often. I wonder if she can keep this up over the whole fight. It's a crazy pace. If she is not taken down, I'm sure she can fight at this pace. But the moment all the takedowns are added, she may find herself struggling. Maybe that's why she's fighting so aggressive. Oh, man, did she snap her head back there? This could be the end. She landed a massive uppercut that hurt her opponent very, very bad. Well, she's able to get up, but she is officially on wobbly legs. Oh, big knee. 90 seconds now to go in round one. Another one! Oh, huge left! Well, hard to see exactly where she is cut, but it's somewhere around that. Oh, nice overhand right. Back to the feet! So, 100 minutes to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. Pretty good recovery by her opponent after being stunned, but we see this all the time, right? If you don't 
close the deal when you have that opportunity. Oh. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. No! Fuck off! Why is it just, uh, is, is she just supposed to be that much better? Like, no.